So this glove, I could have went with a high armor defensive glove, but chose uh, against that and went for a more DPS oriented glove. Still has 75 all resist, which is still pretty good. Um, 9.5 crit chance, decent stats all around. And uh, I ended up winning this glove for 45 million. I think that's a pretty good deal considering uh, comparable gloves are closer to 100 million. Um, so I was pretty happy about that one. But of course, this is interchangeable, like for uh, preferences sake. If you feel a little squishier, just put on, you know, like Taskers or something. Like Tasker and Theo's gloves, they have great armor rolls. Um, of course, you're going to lose out the crit damage if you want to keep all resistance on your Taskers, but. They're pretty good for defense. Um, but I think even for this gear set, I was more DPS oriented just because of the recent new patch that came out that had the, a little bit of a nerf for uh, reflect damage. Um, helped us out a little bit, made us a bit more DPS oriented. But that doesn't mean that you shouldn't uh, should completely neglect defense. I think that's a misconception because you still need defense to play high monster power levels and still tank like take damage from arcane beams and the newly buffed damage buff like plague which is serious that's that stuff is serious damage like um, also you need you know you have to withstand some hits from you know just white mobs trying to get in right so you still need defense it's just more of a green light towards DPS that's how I feel so don't feel like you can just start dropping defense for DPS because that's probably not going to work out too well. You can just give it a try with just by using glass cannon with your current gear and then see what happens. But um, yeah, I wouldn't change my gear too much. But this one was a little bit more DPS warranted. So I felt a little safer getting that glove, for example. Um, let's see. I think I went over everything. Oh, Lacoonies. Had to get Lacoonies here. Um, I just ended up at 2.73 uh, attack speed, so wanted to get this one. This one cost uh, 150. Um, ideally, I wanted armor, but an extra 8, 80 uh, intelligence is not bad. You know, extra 8 all resistance and some random strength thrown in. Um, roughly market. I play market price for this one. It's nothing really around these kind of stats. Ideally, I wanted armor. Armor, all resistance, crit chance, but uh, way out of the budget. Um, yeah, and oh, Nat Boot. Um, 50 million for this one. It's not too bad. 60 intelligence, 60 um, vitality, 6% melee. Wish the all resistance was a little higher, but for 50 million, I think the price was pretty fair. Um, okay, so total price for this one actually came out way below budget um, it came out to 2.543 billion so I was short just under 500 million um, I think that's a good thing just because it allows some flexibility for the new owner to um, upgrade some gear uh, left some pretty easy upgrades here like of course you're not gonna upgrade the chance set it's gonna be pretty hard mempo probably could have invested 500 million to get a six crit like i don't know on top of the 300 million but it's not necessary amulet he's not gonna up upgrade this for a long time um, what really happened was that he could have upgraded the ring slots and the glove slot um, but that would be up to him and which direction he chooses because at 3 billion you got a bunch of options but I think I've built him a pretty solid uh, wizard here good TPS good defensive stats kept in mind everything as a one whole set to work together um, I'm going to check over some of the stats here So keep in mind I'm Paragon 100, so 
It's roughly 450 intelligence gone, so he's gonna lose about 45 over this. So he sits at about 770 at the low point, so almost 800 all resist, which is pretty good. He's gonna sit around 4400 armor, which again is pretty good. Um, his crit chance unbuffed would be 52%. And look at that, 395 crit hit damage. That's massive. This guy's a beast. 218 damage, like thousand DPS. Like even keeping in mind, he's gonna lose about 400 intelligence. That's still well over like 200,000 DPS. Uh, 1,000 life on hit, that's perfect. Uh, 43k life. So if he was Paragon 0, he's probably gonna lose like 8 or 9k. So he's gonna sit in the low mid 30s, which is like where you expect to start off from when you're Paragon 0. So, but I'm at 100 and he'll end up at 43k HP. Which is more than good, good enough for this. Um, so overall, I think I did a pretty good job. 20% dodge uh, was setting this guy up. It's not easy, like with <laughs> such a big budget. Everyone has their personal preferences. Um, but I felt with the gear that was available um, over like a weekend, uh, I was wa able to put together a pretty good set for this guy. I'm pretty sure he's gonna be pretty happy. Got some really good deals for him, like this force. The amulet was really nice. Like the mempo, I had to snipe that. Like, I hope this guy is gonna be pretty happy because judging by these stats, uh, I'm pretty pumped up too. So, anyways, I hope you guys enjoy the video. I think this is gonna be the last budget video that I'm gonna make, just because three billion is so <laughs> massive. Uh, I don't think anyone else is gonna top this. Uh, if they did, it's gonna take forever to build and sort out items. Uh, I already found a lot of difficulty trying to get bang for buck for this amount of budget. So, uh, anyways, I ho hope you guys enjoyed the series, and uh, it was really fun just doing this and trying to explain my thought process on some of the gearing. Uh, yeah, so hope this has been helpful for you guys, and uh, good luck with everything. Take care. <laughs>